Welcome back, time for another game today. AC Belmont. Good save from Andy, rebound though, falls to number 10. It's Connor, their player manager, whipping it in again. Rich Beck rises and scores. Lovely little delivery, looking for Dan Brown. Great first touch, hits it on the left foot, and it's in the back of their net. Another chipped through ball, this time to Dan Brown, who's gonna chip the goalkeeper, and it's in the back of the net. The keeper's got himself a yellow card, and yes, it's a penalty. This guy's got two yellows in the space of a minute. Through to John Dawson, who's had a fantastic game and could finish it here with an eighth goal. Yes. Oh, wow. 8-1 to Hashtag United. John Dawson's been fantastic, as has everyone on the pitch today. All right, mate. How you doing? Welcome back to another match for Hashtag United. Today, we've got another game in Division 3. Last match went pretty well for us, but we're going to have a tougher test today against a London-based team called the North West Alliance. You can see them warming up here. And let's take a look at their challenge video they sent in and find out more about them. Right, boys, welcome back. Time for another game today. Three points on the line in Division 3. Again, obviously really good last match. Uh, big, big performance. Need the same again today. If we, in fact, if we draw today, we're safe from relegation, which means we won't be losing a player, which is the first port of call for this division. Obviously, if we win, we're one step uh, closer to promotion, which is going to be massive for us. I'm going to get a nice big player signed to the team. All right. Um, we're playing a team called NWA. Right? Not who you think. No ice cube. It's actually... Uh, the North West Alliance, they're a London-based team. They actually used to play on this ground. So it's as much a home match for them as it is for us. From what we can see in the video they sent us and the, the little things we've seen on social media, they might be our toughest opponent yet. Okay? They've won a lot of things in the area. They definitely back themselves and be giving us little bits of stick on social media and all sorts. Right? So today, we need to shut them up, don't we? We need to get another three points and remind them what we can do. There is a reward on the line again. It's back by popular demand, the new Xbox One is available. We didn't get it against Stevens Brothers team, which is a shame. Someone can get it today. Man of the match from this game, only if we win the match, we'll get the Xbox One, all right? So let's go out there. Let's put a big performance in. Let's welcome back Jamie Jackson in goal as well. <laughs> Place in Andy Jeff Watts. Let's go out there, let's get those three points. Come on, let's hashtag it. Come on. OK, let's take a look at the lineup for today's game. In goal, we've got Jamie Jackson, who returns, uh, taking the place of Andy Jeffs Watts, who's unavailable for today. But Jamie Jackson's done really well in the past, so we're expecting big things from him. In the defence, we've got Paul Nash at left back, Rich Beck and Sam Adams in the middle, and myself at right back today, mixing it up a little bit. In the midfield, we have Seb, Tom the Trancher, Jepson, John Dawson and James Lovett in right midfield. And up front, it's Dan Brown and Ryan Adams. And on the bench, that means we've got Faisal Manji, Charlie Armstrong and James Stevens, leaving Saldi Dondi on camera duty and Stevie Boy on the physio bench. Right, I'm here with Rich Beck, centre-back for Hashtag United, also known as the Mound Mountain. Rich Beck, how do you think Division 3 has gone for Hashtag United so far? Um, obviously disappointed with the loss, um, but I think we've adapted well to the, uh, to the Sunday League style. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can carry on today. Yeah, it's been a decent start for sure, but today's test could be our toughest. NWA, we know that they've, they've won some things, we know that they can play football. What do you think is the best approach Hashtag should take in order to get the three points? Um, well, personally, I think we shouldn't worry about them. I think if we go out and play our game, we're capable of beating most teams on our day. Um, they look quite young to me, maybe a bit of inexperience, so use our experience and, and get the three points. All right, best of luck out there, mate. Marshal the defence, go get them. Cheers. Right, I'm here with Dan, player manager for NWA. Dan, um, tell us a bit about the team. We're a group of mates from North and West of London. Uh, we've played youth level football at a high level. Um, we took a break from the game when we were about 12, 13. And we all came back together at the age of 18. I created a team. And that's where we're at right now. We've been playing four years together. We're on the edge of semi-professional football. And yeah, now we're building towards something very special. It sounds like you've got some good players in there then. What, what was it about Hashtag United that made you want to challenge us? You boys are from London. You're making a lot of noise. And London's our city. And we're, we're coming for you. We're coming for you today. Okay, I like it's aggressive, but with a smile on your face. Um, all right, we'll ask, ask for a prediction next then. What, what do you think is going to happen in the game? I think it'll be a tight game. Two quality footballing teams. But I'm going to go 3-1 NWA. Right, best of luck to you, mate. See you out there. Cheers, pal. 
Okay, confident talk there from the manager of NWA. He certainly backs his team. They're playing in the green and white stripes today, up against, obviously, Hashtag United in the yellow and blue. It's a big game for Hashtag. They can secure their place in Division 3, safe from relegation, with a win. And uh, that's not the best first touch from yours truly at right back. Lovely uh, way to start the game. This could be interesting, okay? Header clear there from Rich Beck. Uh, TJ's going to bring it down there. And he's uh, still got it, dancing his way around three players. Eventually, though, he is tackled. And he's the big man up front for NWA. Goes through to this ginger-haired lad. It's going to be cleared by Paul Nash. No, it's not. Sam Adams also unable to clear it. Chance of the big striker. Big save from Jamie Jackson in goal there. Hashtag need to get rid of it. They don't. Luckily for them, the shot was put over. But it's an energetic start from the NWA boys. Hashtag need to raise it. Still NWA on the ball here, though. A lofted pass blocked by Seb's face. But it's still NWA. And uh, here's the ginger boy who's given me the run around here. I'm absolutely getting mugged off. Not ideal. Uh, number seven on the ball. He's got a ponytail. What can he do? He's whipping it into the big man. Chance! And he just didn't connect with it in the way he wanted to. But that's another big warning sign for Hashtag. We've started slowly. Uh, not ideal. But we need to raise it if we're going to get back in this game. Because right now it looks like we could get absolutely smashed. John Dawson taking two balls to the face there in quick succession. But it is Hashtag on the ball. Ryan Adams. Plays down the right-hand side to Dan Brown, his strike partner. Dan Brown's going to go back to John Dawson with those lovely white boots. He's going to strike one, and it's on target, but it's easy save for the keeper. Still nil-nil. Nice to see Hashtag getting into the game, though. Keeper's going to uh, distribute it here, just giving some orders to his lads, telling them to settle down. And he's booting it long. It's a decent kick from the keeper. And it's going to fall down to number nine. He brings it down beautifully. Pass Paul Nash. Pass Rich Beck. Shoots it. And it's just wide of the post. But NWA are looking dangerous. Free kick for NWA here. It's going to be lofted in to the box. It's been carried in the wind. Paul Nash has gone for it and missed it. And the striker's got on the end of it. And it is dribbled into the back of the net. And it's 1-0 to NWA. Not the start. Hashtag we're looking for. And you can't really tell just how prevalent the wind and the sun was in this game. Just like in the match versus Mongolian horses. In one half, you can't see anything looking at the sun. And also this wind was super strong here. Number nine gets on the back of it though. And uh, yeah, it's just not a good start from Hashtag at all. This striker was decent and he's done well there. And it's 1-0 to them. And uh, we want to forget that goal quickly, move on, hopefully get one back as soon as we can. And here is Hashtag on the ball. Seb lofting a pass over to Ryan Adams. Nice little touch down to Dan Brown. NWA get it, but they give it straight back to TJ, who uh, finds Seb on the left-hand side. He's going to cross it in. It's a decent ball and it's sort of cleared by NWA. And now their uh, defender can come away with it. And he gets a little bit lucky there. Gets the ball past myself. And James Lovett has to do some running here. But that's what he excels at. Running all the way back. It is still with NWA though. Number nine on the ball. Getting it through to their man here on the right-hand side. What can he do? Number seven. Is he going to whip it back in past Sam Adams? He does. I think Jamie Jackson just gets there though. And the ball had already gone out. So it's going to be a goal kick. It's a free kick from John Dawson. Looking for a hashtag head. Rich Beck does win the head. A chance here. Keeper gets a hand to it. Not enough. Ryan Adams with a flying volley attempt just over the bar. Better from hashtag. Uh, half an hour gone now. We need a goal. Is uh, James Lovett on the ball. Looks to find John Dawson, but the pass is short. And now NWA can attack with this man down the left-hand side. First time pass into number nine. Who's already got one goal. And he's got a second goal. The ball goes into the back of the net. What a game this lad's having up front. And it's 2-0 to NWA. And this is not a good situation. We've not seen Hashtag in this situation much before, to be honest. It's a big test of them now. Look at that turn. Nicely done. Uh, someone needs to sort that net out. There's more holes in there than the Hashtag defence. But uh, yeah, not good. NWA absolutely deserving their lead. You can see in that view there just how bright the sun is. Defensively, you cannot see anything. That's no excuse. It's not good enough from Hashtag. Approaching half time now. Seb is not happy. He's not happy that the wall or this one man wall has not been stepped out possibly. He's saying it's sort of seven yards. He wants someone to come and count it out to, to see if it's ten yards or not. Which is proved there by stepping it out himself that it wasn't. No one was coming to step it out. And Seb doesn't like it when this sort of thing happens. He's giving the officials all sorts of stick right now. And uh, yeah, I mean you would not want to be in Seb's company at this point. But he has got a point to be fair. The wall was not far enough away, and it's hard to put the free kick in in that situation. But he does put it in, looking for Rich Beck. Keeper gets there, defender gets there. Ryan Adams with the shot. Is that a handball? It could have been a handball. Whether it was deliberate or not is the debate. I think it did touch his hand, and eventually Ryan Adams closes down the defender. It's going to be a goal kick for NWA. 
Here's Jamie Jackson now with a long punt upfield. Seconds away from half time. Dan Brown wins the header. Ryan Adams gets past his defender very well. And he squeezed it into the back of the net somehow. I'm not sure how. Keeper probably should have saved that. But he gets the goal. The half time whistle was blown at the exact same time, which means we go into it with a little bit of lifted spirits, don't we? It's not 2-0, it's 2-1. That could be a huge goal for the rest of the game. Let's take a look at a replay. Dan Brown with the header. Ryan with excellent strength to get past his marker. And the finish was good enough to get past the keeper as well. Did it go under his legs? I think it may have. Let's take a look. It is through the legs of the keeper. Well done, Ryan Adams. That changes everything. Regardless of the result, if we give exactly everything we've got in that second half, this game is so up for grabs. It feels like they're playing lots of football. Yeah, they are. They might have more possession. Yeah, maybe they do. But it's 2-1, right? We, we often play on the counter-attack. It doesn't matter about that. We've got to keep getting stuck in. We've all got to keep getting stuck in. They have got some players. The big lad up front, Rich Beckers have kept him very quiet. done really well. It's the other boys that are causing us problems, right? If we, if we do what we've done in the last few games, we will, I think we can win this game, boys. I really do. We're, we're, we're playing like 10%, 20% of what we can do, and we're 2-1 down. The last 15 minutes, we've taken the battle to them. We started battling. They don't yeah, like us got, battling. Yeah, They're a battle. football inside. They don't want to get physical with us. So the last 10, we've battled, and it's thrown them off a bit. We've had more chances than we have. The ref ain't give us what we wanted, but we battle. We win the battle, and then we earn our right to play football, and we just played football and then nicked a goal. OK, second half is underway. 2-1 to NWA currently. But towards the end of that first half, Hashtag certainly came into the game a little bit more. And now they have got the elements in their favour. The sun is in the eyes of the NWA defence and the wind is strong uh, in Hashtag's favour. So hopefully they can kick on where they left off in that first half. Here's Ryan Adams trying to chase the ball down. Dan Brown wins the header. Falls to Ryan Adams. Can he get on the end of it? It's good strength from Ryan. Not giving up. Charlie Armstrong with the strike. Looked like it could have been goal bound. Deflected to Seb whose shot has gone over the bar. But that's better from Hashtag. They're probably on top right now, but they're still not winning the game. In fact, they're losing. So they need some goals. Free kick here. Seb's going to lay it off to Dawson with the strike. Oh my God. What a goal from John Dawson. Perhaps the best goal ever scored in a hashtag United shirt. Certainly one of the most important. The subs are clapping him. That was a beautiful strike with those lovely white boots on the left peg of John Dawson. Let's take another look. Seb with the layoff. Dawson with the strike of dreams. The keeper couldn't even move. He was rooted. Unbelievable. Look at this sun. I mean, you can't blame the keeper or the defence. They can't see a thing. We have to use this to our advantage now because it was working against us in the first half. And it's 2 all now, and that's massive. Rich Beck with a header. Me with another header. Dan with another header. Sam Adams with a fourth header. And he finds the back of the net. It was head tennis in the box from Hashtag United there. But Sam Adams got the important header. Who put it past the keeper? Well done, Sammy boy. Let's take another look. It comes in. Rich Beck has a go. I have a go. Dan has a go. Great save from the keeper. But Sam Adams was there to mop it up like a high school janitor. Come on, Sammy. Massive. I mean, it really was like a game of ping pong, bloody ping ball in there. But Sam Adams gets there at the back stick. Well done. And it's 3-2. And Hashtag are now in the lead, despite being 2-1 down and even 2-0 down at one point. And here's Charlie Adams. Hashtag really going for it now. He finds Dan Brown, who finds the back of the net. But it's been given offside. It's been given offside. It should be 4-2, because I'm pretty sure that was onside, you know. It's a great pass from Charlie. Well timed. Let's take another look. Here's the pass. Oh, my God. Dan Brown's about four yards onside. How has that been given offside? It should be 4-2. Hopefully it doesn't come back to cost hashtag because this is a very, very tight game. Here's number three on the ball for NWA. They're going to look to get back in things. I've tried to get there and cut it out, but I failed. And here's number nine. He's on a hat trick. And that could have been goal bound, but for the deflection. We've got to be careful. NWA don't get us on the break here. Okay, less than half an hour left now. It's a free kick for NWA. And they're playing it around the back as they like to do. But it's dangerous when we've got our strike force in the area because they are absolute panthers. Here's Ryan Adams, who's pounced like a panther. Plays it into Dan Brown, who's going to finish this. He does finish it. What a bit of play from the hashtag strikers. When they can do that, they can win games on their own, those two, because they just don't give defenders a moment's rest. And the NWA boys have paid the price of being too cocky at the back there because Ryan Adams was all over them. He gets the assist and Dan Brown with a lovely finish. I think we need a GoPro angle to really appreciate how good this finish was. Take a look at it and bang. I mean, that's upper Benjamins all the way to the bank, people. Hashtag in a very commanding place in this game now. 4-2 up and that's a good tackle from Dan Brown who gets the ball. What's he going to do? He's going to lay it off to Seb. He's going to look to get it back on his left foot. He does. And he uh, passes over to Paul Nash, the left back, who goes back to Seb, who plays a pass to Ryan Adams, who goes to Dan Brown. It's great football. Dan Brown with a strike. 
Oh, it's a forced a great save from the keeper there. NWA's keeper, you know, he's the reason that we've not had more than four goals. He's been decent, to be fair. But it is very good from Hashtag right now. They're looking lively. Here's a free kick. John Dawson's going to put it into the box. He's had a great game. Finds the head of Rich Beck, and it's in the back of the net. Rich Beck loves a header. I've said it before. I'll say it again. 5-2. Lovely celebrations between Rich Beck, the man mounted, and James Stevens there. Oh, I love it. Look at John Dawson here, whipping it in. Rich Beck's a brave header, to be fair, because the keeper was coming for that. He could have easily taken a punch to the face. Instead, he gets a goal. And look at that sun. It's just so bright. It really was hard to deal with. And we've used it to our advantage. And it's 5-2 now. And there's only about six minutes left, which means it might be too late for NWA to come back in this. But they've got a chance here. We have a bit of a kerfuffle there with Dan Brown, who did commit the foul. And it is going to be a free kick to NWA. But I think... Dan Brown has hurt his face in the process there. It's a bit of an injury there on his eye. So hopefully he's okay. He's up, but he's going to need some treatment, I think. And in the meantime, NWA have got a free kick in a dangerous area. Okay, they're going to whip it in. There's the delivery. It's a low one. It's got through the box. No one's cut it out. Big save from the keeper. Oh, but the big man up top scores it. And he is a big man, isn't he? I mean, he's six foot three at least, and that's just his legs. Okay, it's 5-3 now. Hopefully, we're not going to see a collapse from Hashtag after they've done so well to get back in this game. I don't know how that ball was allowed to get that far into the box without being cut out. It's a great save from Jamie Jackson at first and on the reflexes. Have a look at it here. Bang. But then it fell beautifully to the big striker. So it is 5-3 now. There is a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel for NWA. We have to make sure we see this game out. Into injury time now. Love it with the header away. Onto the edge of the box. Love it. Closes it down again. Number five with a strike. It goes over. And is that the final whistle? I think it is. Come on, hashtag. That is a huge game. NWA were decent, very, very good opponents. They played us off the park for the first few minutes of that game. But we stuck at it. We get the win. That is huge. And now we are safe from relegation, which is massive. And the man of the match from this game is getting himself an Xbox. Okay, I'm here with Dan, player manager of NWA. Dan, talk to me about the game. I thought it was a fantastic game. End-to-end -end stuff. First 20 minutes, I thought we were on top. We had opportunities. We got the early goal. Um, I felt like you came into the game more. Your physicality, big, strong lads. It was difficult, but we got the second goal. We are sticking to our principles, playing from the back. Everyone with smiles on their faces. But that goal on the edge of time changed the game. But um, I thought second half, fantastic goal by Seb. And yeah, you deserve the win in the end. But we'd love a rematch, maybe. Maybe second leg. Definitely. I think Seb got the assist. I got to point out it was John Dawson with a good strike. Seb hasn't got that in his locker. Oh, um, yeah, no, it wasn't Seb. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, but no, yeah. What, what, you, what about hashtag in general? What did you think? Because obviously you've done a bit of research. Do you think we were better, worse, the same as what you expected? I was saying to yourself beforehand that the two strikers get highlighted a lot, but you have other fantastic technical players. And uh, that was a fantastic game. We really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for coming down, mate. Best of luck. Best of Thank you. Wait, first things first, lads. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was bloody brilliant. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, wasn't it? That is a proper comeback. 2-0 down there. That's rattled. We got that goal before half-time. We had the weather in our favour second half, and we smashed them. Honestly, that was quality. Quality stuff. Now, um, man of the match is a big one this week, because obviously the Xbox One goes to the, the winner. And it was voted for by you guys, as we're doing now, and it was very tight. And, it, and right, rightfully so, because the number of people could have won it today. So many people were quality, sp sp especially in that second half, when everyone really turned it on. So, uh, like I say, metaphorically, you've all got Xboxes, but in reality, only one of you is getting it. <laughs> and uh, that person, as voted for by the players, is Mr. Ryan Adams. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved. And uh, also, very importantly, that puts us on 12 points, which means no relegation, no one's leaving! Yay! I'm not going anywhere! Yay! Quality, boys. Remember to hashtag it. Let's hashtag it. Come on. Yes. Excellent. Right, I'm here with Man of the Match, Ryan Adams. You got yourself an Xbox. How are you feeling? Yeah, really good. Hard performance, but, you know, thought we'd done all, all of us done really well today. What, what, what do you think you know, changed? We were obviously 2-0 down, and suddenly we end up winning quite convincingly. Well, we didn't get off the blocks very well. I don't know if we just wasn't up for it, but it took us time to get into the game. And I thought once we got into the game and we worked hard, we, we started to get a bit more of the ball and we started creating things. And obviously we're not going down now, no relegation on the cards because we got those points. Are you happy to keep the squad together for the next season? Oh yeah, brilliant. I mean, there's such a great group of guys here. It would have been a shame to see one of them go. So thankfully we don't have to now. So we're all staying, bring on the next game. Brilliant stuff from you. Enjoy your Xbox. Well done, mate.
Okay, so as mentioned, you can see we're now up to 12 points, which means we cannot get relegated back to Division 4. So we're definitely going to be in Division 3 next season at least, but it's still a big chance of promotion to Division 2. We need six more points from five games. It's definitely doable. That big signing could be happening. In the meantime, Ryan Adams is back on top in terms of most goals. He's got 21 now. Dan Brown has 20. He's just one behind. Phil Martin, Seb and Rich Beck are level on six goals each. And in terms of assists, it's level between Ryan Adams and Seb. They have 13 assists. Dan Brown's got 11 and John Dawson has six. That's it for this video. Big thanks to the NWA boys for giving us one of our toughest games so far. So thank you for that. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Check out the other channels and other videos on the screen now if you haven't already. Drop a subscription if you're new. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, don't forget to hashtag it.